people that live in this Indian Trail neighborhood say the roads were horrible yesterday. They were slipping and sliding on thick, heavy slush, and they were dealing with ruts that are six inches to a foot deep, and they're still dealing with them today, but they're frozen. Frozen ruts and a car with low clearance is a recipe for disaster. It damages the roads, it damages cars, and it keeps people from going to work. Earl Seagrave's truck has proven its value in the past couple of days. He is starting to feel like a tow truck driver. A whole lot of people have been stuck out here. You can probably guess what Earl and his Indian Trail neighbors think of the city's plow plan. They do the art major arterials fine, but the residential streets are, are generally very, very poorly maintained. They're certainly in this neighborhood. Lousy. Uh, that's putting it mildly. You don't want me to say the bad words I've said before about it. The city says the key to getting through the next several days is patience. It takes time. There's 2,100 lane miles of streets in the city of Spokane, so it's going to take us a while to get to everybody's street. Teams made up of a plow and a grader are working 24-7 to clear the streets, focusing on the worst of the worst first. We know we're hearing from people all over town. We're, we're focusing where um, you know, we see the worst problems. Earl thinks the plows should have been through his neighborhood days ago. Madam Mayor, please plow your roads. This afternoon, a plow and a grader started working in Earl's neighborhood, chipping away at what is now frozen slush working their way to the next neighborhood full of people eagerly awaiting their arrival. I know they're going to get to every street. It's just going to take a few days to get through it all. Tori Brunetti, KXOY4 HD News.